up you guys I hope you liked that intro it was a little more work but it was kind of fun to change it up and do something different and I noticed that the next the, my last video I was pretty proud of the edits and how the video came out and I noticed like even if it takes a little more effort it is it is more fun and enjoyable to edit videos that I'm proud of rather than like just put together like a day in the life just because I have to and I have that feeling about it you know you could tell in the mood of my mood when I'm filming it and how I was just not feeling it but I put it out there anyways. So um, this year I kind of want to stop with that negative attitude of just being like, well, I did my video a week, you know, I'm done. Um, if I'm gonna do like a video a week, I kind of want it to be worth your while since your time is valuable to me. So yeah, um, just wanted to quickly do a little short little rant about negative people. Negative people will always be in your life, you know? Like, remember the time I had um, those roommates that I really wasn't happy living with? Really helped me learn about myself. Like, how I don't really enjoy living with people. I'm more of a introvert than an extrovert, like, when in the places I live. Like, I, I like my alone time, stuff like that. But there's some negative people that you can't just get rid of. Maybe, whether it be family members or whatsoever, or whoever but you just need to be strong and you need to stand up for what you believe in so if they're negative about something don't just hold it in and let them take over your life you need to stand up to them to put them in their place or else they'll never learn why they why people don't like it or they'll never learn to stop treating you a certain way or stop being negative if people just keep going with it so that is what I'm doing. I'm setting people straight and I'm not letting people, you know, be, bring me down basically. Like, I am going to be happy. Like, you will not stop me. Like, this year, no matter what I go through, this year is the year that I really want to just find myself, my passion, my drive, and chase after my dreams and just go for it. Like, so many plans and nothing will get in the way of it. So, and that's my little short rant, less than two minutes, very proud of myself. And uh, now I'm going to my brother's restaurant to get something that I will show you all later. Um, I think you know what it is. It's something that I haven't really shown you um, with like in detail. So that's the hint. And something that I've been wanting for the last, uh, more than a year now. So, yeah, I am very excited. You make me so what it is Nike Romelios 2 show you what they look like so, so hard opening this plastic so the last time the wrong size was ordered so we got the correct size these are still hard to find had to get them from Canada but here they are They got that new shoe smell. It smells like a new car, actually. But yeah, I'm super excited to try these out. So I actually want to try them out today to see what the differences are for leg day. So maybe we'll see tonight. Why? I hate 
traffic. Traffic is terrible, but the upside is the sunset is beautiful. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a lot of pink in the sunset and it's actually better in person than it is on camera, so that's the only upside. Super weak on them. Um, at one point, I think I used my back, which you're not supposed to do. You're supposed to push up from the heel. And yeah, I felt something and then I went lighter. So I just did paw squats with the bar and like 10 pounds each side max. It's like, it's incredible how much strength goes down when you don't do a certain movement. So yeah, I fell off the squatting wagon and from there, my squats got weaker, but it's it's weird because on the leg press, maybe because it um, doesn't require as much balance and thinking of, you know, my muscle connection. I'm just, on the leg press, I'm just thinking about heel pushing off. But with the squat, I'm thinking about everything. My back, am I going forward? Like, there's so many more things to think about other than just where to put your, place your feet. <sighs> but anyhow, Overall, good workout. Like, I know I had a good workout when it's hard for me to walk down the stairs at the gym without feeling like I'm gonna fall down the stairs. So that's good, killed my legs, and then called pho. Gonna pick up my to go order. Always go to the same pho place, even though it might look a little bit, uh, not, it doesn't look as nice inside, but it's great, like, um, with fall places, it's a hit or miss, but typically when it looks fancy, it's not great. But when it looks a little bit old and run down look to it, it's great. Like the fuzz usually, they make it up with the food. So we're gonna do that right now. I just got here, the place I like to go to in Avondale is PT Noodles. Let's do this. The pho, now we're gonna go home and I'll show you how I uh, microwave and prepare my to go to make it taste good. Good night, Isabella. I'm literally living cave woman style, so all my living room stuff is gone because we're moving and it's a mess because I'm gonna pack the rest of this stuff on Friday and get on with our lives and move out of here. I came in this container, so what I like to do is I like to microwave it till it's boiling hot and then I will add the um, rest of the ingredients. So we're only gonna put that much because I threw away my favorite bowl for doing this. Or actually I packed it up, so we're just gonna do it this way. This is boiling hot um, or super hot. So here is the rest of the item. So I'm gonna put the raw steak in first and then the briskets and then the noodles. So I'm gonna show you that we're done. I don't know if you can see. This is really hard to do without a tripod. Once I'm done with it, try not to touch the meat with your hands. Just gonna dump that there, and then I'm actually gonna save the couple of these briskets for the other bowl I have since I have two pho bowls. Actually, I might be able to fit everything in here, but. See if I can, we will. Yep, I think I could fit everything in here. So we'll do that first, and so it looks like this right now. And then we'll put the green bean sprouts in like this. Like that, and yeah, we're good. I like to put everything in here the basil the bean sprouts everything because it gives it flavor so yeah then we have lime we put a little bit i don't like to put too much lime so just a little bit and always put like one small jalapeno in there and this is super healthy 
get your fiber in and I'll make it. There it is. I might split the rest of this between the other bowl that I have in the microwave. And then we got some shrimp and pork spring rolls right here. So we're gonna enjoy this and this is dinner.